the solution to this example. So let's do the first one, revenue growth. We highlight all the cells. We just want to add colors. So it's saying if it's less than or equal to 10%, be red. So I'm going to go to conditional formatting. And if we look through some of the wizards, you'll see I've got a greater than and less than. This one needs to be less than and equal to. So that option doesn't seem to exist there. But I'm going to go to more rules. And you'll see it says format only cells that contain. So that's fine. Cell value is. When I click here, you'll see we've got a few more options. So here I've got a less than or equal to. And I'm going to put 10%. So I can either write it like that or at 0.1. I'm going to set up a format and we just want it to be red. So I'm going to choose that and say OK. OK. And you'll see that has turned red. We now want to add another conditional formatting on where it's bigger than 10% but less than or equal to 20%. I'm going to go to conditional formatting. You'll see I've got an item here called between. So I'm going to choose that. So it's going to say between. And now it needs to be between 10 and 20. So I'm going to say 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. I'm going to choose custom format and we'll do yellow. Say OK. And the last one, if, if it's bigger than 20%, so not bigger than and equal to, but bigger than, conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, you'll see there's a greater than. I'm going to type in my number, 20%. And this one, I'm going to do green. Actually, let's go to custom format and make it a nice bright green. I'm going to say OK. And there you've got your first mini solution. The next one, we've got our revenue for the various branches. I'm just going to highlight them all. We're told to use color scales, but we need a midpoint of 750,000. So I'm going to go here. You'll see there's an item here called color scales. We're going to use the first one. When I switch it on, we get that. Let's just go check what Excel has done with it. So we're going to go manage rules edit rule. So you'll see it's using a three color scale. That's fine. Minimum is the lowest value. Maximum is the highest value. So that's okay for now. But we ask to be based on a midpoint of a number, 750,000. So I'm going to change that percentile to a number and I'm going to type in the number I want. I can say okay. And now what will happen is, no matter what these numbers are, it will use that 750 as the midpoint, as the yellow. Next one, gross profit percentages. I'm going to highlight it. We need to use icons, traffic lights. And here's the requirements. So I'm going to go to the icon set. We'll use the traffic lights. Switch them on. You'll see it just has green and red. But we should have some yellows at that range there. So conditional formatting, manage rules. I'm going to say edit rule. Even though these are percentages, it's not the same thing as the percent here. This is looking at the range. It's like a percentile. So I'm just going to change these to be numbers. Numbers. So we know it must be green when it's bigger than 33%. So not bigger than and equal to, but bigger than. So it must be bigger than. 0.33. It must be yellow if it's 33 to 30%. So over here we've said if it's less than and equal to 0.33 and bigger than and equal to, let's put 0.30. When I say OK, I can apply it or just say OK. And you'll see I've now got my traffic lights set up in the way I want them. For this one here, operating expenses as a percentage to as a revenue percentage. I'm going to highlight them. We want to use color scales, but we want to use whatever's in cell B9 over here as the midpoint. So I'm going to go choose some color scales. So that's there. But now I want to go manage rules, edit rule. I've got a lowest value, highest value change that 
to be a number and that must look at whatever's in that cell there. When I say OK, if I apply it, you would notice that it changes. I'm going to say OK. So it'll only be yellow when it's at 25%. Let's just change one of these. I'm going to change it to 26%. Notice that because that's the midpoint, that one changed yellow. In this example, we've got net profit after tax percentage. I'm going to highlight them. We want to highlight the above average cells. So we could do some fancy formulas, but if we go into conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, it doesn't seem to be a wizard there. Top and bottom rules, there's an item here called above average. So what this is going to do is look at those cells, work out an average, and if anything's above average, it's going to turn, and we can choose a color. So this is a good thing. So I'm going to say green fill with green text. And when I say OK, anything that's above average out of these cells will turn green. For this one, I'm going to highlight it again. We need to use a tick or a cross to show profit or loss. So I'm going to go into my icons. You'll see I've got ticks and crosses but there is this exclamation mark. I'm going to switch it on. For now, that's OK, but you can see that Excel has decided that those are exclamation marks. That's not what we want. We want a tick if it's positive and a cross if it's negative. So let's go to Manage Rules, Edit the Rule. So we've got the icon set. At the moment, it's using a percentile method. So it's looking for the, the biggest and the smallest numbers and then working out a percentage of it. So we're going to say, no, please use a number, number. And in this case, that's perfect. It must be a tick if it's bigger than zero. It must be a cross if it's less than zero. And this will never show. So I say, OK, say, OK. And now what you've got is ticks and crosses, depending if it's a positive or negative, profit or loss.